Hey guys, Joe Hildreth from MyHeap.com. So in our last video uh, on the burn burner build, I think I had uh, was testing it on water to see, uh, you know, trying to adjust it. And uh, since then, I've talked to uh, Chirpy, or Chirpy had made the comment that uh, adjusting it with water will probably be fine if I were going to burn just diesel, but I may have to readjust it uh, for vegetable oil or motor oil because it's uh, a lot more viscous. So uh, let's uh, let's carry on with the rest of this uh, build and let's see if we can at least make some fire today. Sound good? Okay, I'm progressing on the uh, burner here. In the last video, you've seen that I had it uh, uh, mounted up uh, or clamped down and and uh, had sort of uh, adjusted and tuned it. So let me uh, talk about what I've done here. So recall, you know, I said I had to find a uh, burner tube. So for a burner tube, I'm going to use this piece of uh, uh, two-inch uh, rigid conduit. And what I've done is I've drilled two holes here, or clearance holes for the burner. You see that that will fit down in there, right? And then, uh, of course, it's on the inside and coming out. And then I needed something that would. Um, I'm gonna take these off here real quick. I needed, uh, you know, I needed something so that when this is in here, that the nozzle is in the center or as close to the center of the pipe as I can get it. So what I've decided to do is I made a couple of spacers, and uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Zanetti again. He gave me some, uh, he sent me some stock, and I used some of that stock to make these spacers. And the idea here is that I'm just going to. Uh, sort of get this in place here and I know you can't see but I'll show you here in just a minute so if you can see in there I don't know if you can see in there so that you see it centers the uh, jet in the middle of the uh, burner tube and it's being held offset by the spacers there'd be one on each end and then uh, over on this side I've tapped two quarter twenty holes that I'll put some studs, some um, all thread down in there, and then that'll push up against the burner and holding it in place. So that's uh, that's my intention anyway. And what I wanted to show you uh, before I start putting this together, so you had a had an idea how it uh, how it went together. Now, so the next question is, how do you get to the um, to the back? I think what I want to do is um, the OD on these. Spacers are made are about the same as the uh, the the turned down area that you see here on on the on the T or the elbow. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'll put my uh, piece of nipple in here like this, just to hold it as a spacer. Push that down against there, and then I'm just gonna take a drop of hot glue on the four sides to hold it in place. That way, hold it just enough so that it's stuck on there for when I slide it in the pipe. I can get the nipple through the pipe. So. That's the intention, and uh, so let me get this thing together and we'll come back. Okay, since the last segment, um, I've created, I've done a couple of uh, quarter 20 uh, uh, all thread studs. I put a little slot on the end with a hacksaw so that I can sort of snug them up with a uh, small screwdriver and lock them down with a, um, a lock nut here. And I've uh, taken some hot glue and I glued these on. And this is just to hold them, you know, until I can get the uh, pipes threaded in from the inside. And then the other thing I done was, uh, you know, I was talking to Chirpy, and Chirpy says, well, you know, hey, if you adjust that on water, it probably run fine on diesel, but you know, it may not be quite right for oil. So I've sort of fabricated a little wrench here, so that when this is down. In the tube, I can you know get this down in here, and you know adjust it without being in the direct line of uh, of the spray. All right, so um, I think I got everything here about ready to put together. So I want to uh, I want to put the um, uh, the burner together here, and then uh, give you a look at it here before we uh, hook it up and see if we can get it to spray something and burn. So I think I'm going to start out on maybe a little diesel fuel or something just to just to see what happens and we'll go from there. So I'll uh, see you here in just a few minutes.
Okay guys, I have uh, got the burner assembled. Now, you know, really hasn't had any adjustments on it other than what, you know, playing around with it um, the other day with the water. Um, but, you know, hey, trying to be safe here, I do have my extinguisher in case something horrible goes wrong. So, let me uh, get over here and tell you what I got. So, all right, so I've, uh, well, I'm bring the camera over here, so I'm going to apologize for any camera sickness I cause. Alright, so there's a jug of, well, what should be vegetable oil, but it's actually got just a little bit of diesel in the bottom. You probably see that. It's yellow color stuff. And my intentions are um, to fire this thing off on diesel for the first go, and then uh, mix about half vegetable oil and half diesel and see if that'll light. Now, something that I need to point out is that there's no flare so I don't know if it will burn or if I have a hard time burning or what so I've turned on the air here and I've got it set to about 30 pounds all right so uh, boy it's putting out a lot of heat I, I can feel it a whole lot of freaking heat just from here so it really needs to be in a furnace that's a lot of heat up next to that running at 30 pounds so you know I think the proof of concept is good uh, I need to get it into a furnace uh, but I'm kind of running out of time today uh, my wife has to work uh, start working weekends next weekend and she's wanting to go out so I'm probably going to post it here Let me go ahead and shut that off um, you know I think it's uh, I think it's doable so hey chirpy I wanted to thank you for um, the help that you've provided and uh, you know with the, all my questions and stuff like that and uh, I appreciate it so uh, I guess uh, I, I don't know I guess there's no more to say about it other than it probably needs some adjusting it probably needs a flare it needs to go in a furnace to really know how it's going to perform and then uh, my next run maybe my next set of videos I'll uh, get it in a furnace and see if we can get it you know we'll play with it adjust it See if we can uh, get a melt, aluminum melt out of it to uh, maybe pour some ingots or something like that. So, hey, look, guys, I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to, to watch my videos uh, and comment and, and everything that you've done for me. Uh, you guys are just a great, great bunch of folks, and I appreciate you. And um, so, look, if these uh, videos are entertaining to you or, or they're helpful in any way or you know somebody else that might be interested in, uh, you know what I'm putting out here uh, please consider liking subscribing and sharing it hopefully maybe help me out in the long run so uh, other than that uh, I'm gonna cut this video off here and uh, have a blessed day